All right, you guys, you see the title, you see the thumbnail. Today is the day, today is the day. A very, very, very big day, it's finally happening. Today is the day I'm proposing to the love of my life, man, to my girlfriend of 11 years. We've been together for 11 years, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna be uh, talking a lot of mess in the comments, talking about 11 years and you're barely proposing, 11 years, finally, finally, you guys, I really, 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 I really, really, really pictured this. Um, I pictured the way I wanted to propose to Karen a certain way. I've always pictured it a certain way and I wanted it to look and feel as special as I can make it look and feel. And I wanted it to do it with the perfect ring. Rings aren't cheap, rings are expensive. Um, I wanted to do it in a perfect area with a nice view. I've ha I always had a vision on how I wanted to propose to Karen. I've always wanted to propose to Karen. I've always known this is the girl I'm gonna marry and spend the rest of my life with. I've always known that. Um, it did take me a little while to get there and I do wanna start off by saying thank you to each and every one of you who support us and what we do. We love doing what we do and because of you guys, we're able to do it as a job. We're able to work from home and without you guys, I wouldn't probably be proposing today. Like I probably wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today, how I want to do it. And I do want to give a huge, 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 huge shout out and thank you to David's House of Diamonds. They blessed me with a beautiful ring and they're amazing people to work with. They're easy to contact, they're easy to talk to. They ship you any jewelry that you want from their page. I'm gonna link them in the description down below. Um, they're amazing people. If you, if you guys want to, if you want to propose to your significant other, or even just buy jewelry, go ahead and, and reach out to them. Go to their, their location. If you're close by, they stay in Fullerton, California. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. This ring is like amazing. You guys want to see the ring? You guys want to see the ring? I'm going to show you the ring. Oh my God. Like this is the most beautiful ring ever, bro. When I seen it in videos and pictures, I was like, damn, this is, this is the ring. But when I finally got it and was seeing it in person, I was, I was like, it, I get emotional just looking at the ring. I've had this ring for seven months. I got it in March, 2023. I've had it for seven months because uh, I've had the ring for seven months and I've had it for so long because I was just waiting for the right time to do this and I was looking for the right place to do this. I was just, I was planning it for a while and I was letting everybody know. Um, as soon as I received the ring, I gave it to Karen's parents. Karen's mom locked it in a safe and it's been sitting in the safe for seven months. Today is, today's the day, man. Today is, it's finally happening. It's finally, finally happening. Um, I remember when I first met Karen, <laughs> I first met her eighth grade. Um, it was lunchtime, she had a bag of hot Cheetos in her hand and her smile just lit up the room. It lit up, it just, I remember seeing her smile for the first time and it just, it lit up that whole area. She's the most beautiful woman ever. She's talented, she's very selfless, she's caring. She'll always go above and beyond to help anybody and whatever they need help in. And I love this woman, man. She's, she's so talented. She's a woman that any man would dream of, any man would want. She's funny. She's, she's just amazing overall. I've always known I wanted to marry Karen and I've always known that she was the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And today's the day, baby. Today's the day we're gonna lock that down. Today's the day I'm gonna put a ring on that finger. Not just a ring, I'm putting a rock on that finger, so. Just know I really love you and I will always do what I can and I will always go above and beyond for you and I will always, fuck, I don't want to get emotional on camera. I don't, I will always go above and beyond for you and I'll always try my best to make you the, the happiest girl I can make you. And I can't wait to start a family with you and I can't wait to have kids with you. I just, uh, uh, I'll see you later. I love you. Um, surprise. <laughs> I don't know what else to say right now, but 
all our family and friends are gonna be here. They, they're all gonna see you get proposed to because I know that's what you want. Um, and I just love you, man. I love you so much. And I'll see you soon. I'll see you in a few hours. <sighs> All right, guys, so you guys seen the whole property, you guys seen the house. Kev's went crazy with the fucking montages. I love you for pulling up, but as you guys can see, they're setting up the whole rose heart. I don't even know what to call it, bro. I'm so nervous right now. I'm shitting bricks. Um, Karen's gonna be here in probably like in an hour and a half. I still haven't gotten ready. I haven't showered. I haven't done anything. I don't even know like what really I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna speak from the heart. And my biggest fear right now is she doesn't cry and I'm gonna be bawling tears. That's my biggest fear. But as you guys can see, this is where it's gonna go down. With the whole view in the background, it's gonna look beautiful. We're gonna try and get her here closer to sunset. I didn't actually let you guys know the plan. So she thinks I'm filming with these fools. She thinks I'm in LA, we are in LA, but she thinks I'm out filming right now. She made plans with her girlfriends to go to a fancy dinner. Little does she know, her friends are gonna bring her here and she's gonna get surprised. Fuck, you ready for this, bro? You got it, bro. All right, let's get it. I'm gonna go shower, get ready, and um, yeah, we'll see you guys in a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, cheers, thank you guys for coming. I'm sorry I was stressed out for a little while. <laughs> thank you guys for helping me surprise Karen. Thank you guys for keeping it a secret for seven months. I love all of you guys and thank you for being here again. Cheers. I want to say thank you for everybody who came today. I really appreciate everybody being here, being part of our special moment. And, um, ooh, you're gonna make me cry. I don't, I don't want to talk no more because I'm gonna start crying. But. Yeah, I don't really, I don't know if y'all know how much I love this man and for him to, to propose to me today is a very, very big thing for me in my heart. And I appreciate everyone being part of it because it just made it 10 times more special for me. So thank you. When's the wedding? Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> right now, somebody marry us, please. <laughs> Bring a pastor. Who knows a pastor? I got a costume. My dad. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, I'm like, my dad. Right How you feel, bro? I would have said no. I'm, a, I'm engaged. I'm a fiance. I'm a whole fiance now. It's crazy. Look at the view. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, book me for your uh, proposal planning. I got you. <laughs> huh? First thoughts or last thoughts to this? First of all, I can't even like. I still can't like picture. Not picture. What is the word I'm looking for? I can't. It's like it hasn't synced in yet of what just happened. I was supposed to go to eat today and now my whole fiance, like that's so crazy. <laughs> Babe, like there's no way. How did I do? You did really good, 10 out of 10. Like this is really pretty, the view is amazing. Like, ah, I just feel so loved right now because everybody is here. Like if I ever picture my, my proposal day, like this is, this overdid what I had ever had in mind. So it just makes me so happy that we're here and that you did all that. It was a great outcome. You guys didn't see a little while ago, I was super stressed. There was a lot going on with the homeowner, all the people that were here. There was a lot more people here. We had everybody here when they pulled up. Everybody was literally here for like 15 to 20 minutes. Some people were still just barely getting out of their car. We had like 40, 50 people here and it's an Airbnb. That's my fault <laughs> that I invited everybody, but they couldn't stay because the homeowner was threatening to uh, call the police. So we had to keep it just strictly family and everybody understood. It was still a great, amazing outcome. I would have wished everybody to be here, all my close friends, but it's cool. You guys can watch. You guys are going to see it here anyway. So we love you guys for pulling up. And yeah, I'm just I'm just happy. I, your uh, ring is finally on your finger. You know, I've had it for seven months. Dude. Your mom's had it in her room. No way. Okay, like TMI, but last time we were at, we went to my mom's house, I was like, why are they in the room so much? Like, damn, Eddie has chorro or what? Like, he keeps using my mom's restroom, but my mom just told me that they were in there exchanging the ring, huh, babe? Yeah. That's so funny. We were in there exchanging the ring. And you literally almost caught us. When Karen's mom was giving us giving me the ring the other day, like literally a day or two ago, Karen, uh, she, was, she was knocking on the door. She was like, babe, are you in there? And I was like... Oh shit, I was putting it in my pocket and I was like, yeah, babe, I was just taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm so happy and I just feel so like, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. You really want to marry me, babe? Well, yeah. Oh shit, finally. <laughs> uh, I'm happy. I'm I just so wanted happy. everything to be perfect. I wanted everything to like. Okay, okay well, was everything perfect for you or no? It was. It, it was a few like bumps in the road, but yeah, I feel like it came out perfect. Stay tuned, y'all, because next video is our wedding. So, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> We're having a wedding tomorrow, bro. <laughs>actually had to fix my makeup on the way here because my eyes look hella like I got beat the fuck up vibes but I'm hoping that I don't cry again because I feel like I'm gonna cry again hey, the Airbnb we were at I know it's my fault but I told him it was a proposal he didn't really care he was still threatening to call the cops and everything so fuck that Airbnb we here turning up with everybody let's go do propose again all right everybody
love you and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You've been a part of my life since I was 13 years old. It's been a long time coming. You know I love you, baby. <laughs>